So they still have not found their sea legs, while Jared Haas says we are swimming all in the same direction right now. Some metaphors I'm sure you'll appreciate as we're underway here in Tempe. I love those metaphors. And when you're all going in the same direction with the collective sense of effort and purpose, you've got a real chance out there. Well, that Williams will be back soon. We, what we do know is it's his third straight game miss because he attended a family funeral, so he's got some personal issues going on right now. And when he comes back, he's going to have to quarantine. And obviously, Santa Clara County, Stanford hasn't even been home to play a game. So Stanford's going home tonight after the game. And they'll all be able to get back into their dorm rooms. They'll all be able to see their families, being the coach, that is, and the other members of the Stanford. Rules into one, as you know, Bill. Here's Burge in the lane. Kicks it out. House for three. Won't go. There's Great play, Bagley Patrick. with the offensive rebound. Now Bagley Again, for three. <laughs> Not turning it over. You look at the game they had the other night. They shot 50%. They dominated the paint. They dominated fast break. For applications to it. That's why it's called an app. It's got a, a word count. It's got a pronunciation guide. A interpretation, identification, and translation guide as well. Please. Follow along. As the can. Injuries. So this is an all this is an all-conference backcourt that hasn't played in seemingly forever. And you got a future comet and rising star Zaire Williams, but the rest of the guys have said, hey, we're here to play and we're ready to go, and they have given no quarter whatsoever. But the Sun Devils just playing superbly in literally every aspect. Beautiful penetration it did. Bagley's three, no shot. good. Here. And by the way, Doris said to say hello, Bill. So this, this is my team. Doris Doris to tell you hello from Dorisburg. We got to get the inside guys to Silva, Williams, who's just, excuse me, Jones, Delaire, and Kasunas to be the physical presence they were the other night, to be the physical presence they were against UCLA. They've won two huge games in the Conference of Champions. That usually doesn't happen until they get to the NBA. <laughs> Kasunas with the basket for Stanford. He missed a shot at the end of the half, a point-blank range. They went back to him here, though, to start the second half. Kasunas is a very solid player. Completely outplayed Tabulis, Tabellis, now down in Tucson the other day. He probably felt a, a lot of that on his shoulders. Plus, he's a guy, Bill, that feeds off the crowd, and there isn't a crowd this year, so he's kind of learning to create his own energy. Blocked by Jalen Graham, who's second of the Pac-12 in that category. Then an air ball in the three. Remy Mark, long pass ahead. Bagley streaking down. An interesting change in the starting lineup, KB, for Arizona State. Alonzo Verge is coming off the bench tonight. He was the Pac-12 sixth man of the year last season. And Kamani Lawrence, who has the ball right now, number four, is in his place. Trying to go a little bit big. Bigger. Yeah, we'll see if it works. Meanwhile, a nice drive and the score for the head coach Mark Fox of Cal. He said he might be the most important player outside of Matt Bradley, their leading scorer, in their offense because he's a stretch four. And what does that mean? He's a guy that he's a big guy that can shoot the ball uh, from the perimeter. Tough look inside, really nothing there to DJ Thorpe as he was double teamed, then he lost it. Here come the Sun Devils. In the corner, good look, short, no good. So much talent, the ball just needs to, to move from side to side. Me, me, me. Another shot, no good, three ball again by Foreman. Uh, make that cow one of eight from the floor in this early going. Only a three from Anticipus, that's been it. Nearly five minutes in. Bagley way off. It's an Cal just looking for any kind of offense. Bradley trying to give it to him from three. And can't. A lit on the rim right now for Cal. They can't hit anything. Two of 14. It's interesting about Martin. He's such an emotional player, right? He's that guy. And, you know, when you look at all the scores, you're trying to make something happen. And they'll stay with it. He's on the board. All Pac-12, second team last year. Preseason, first team conference. And, you know, all those ankle injuries, both ankles for him. Finally gets one to go. And it's 19 11. Foul down the other way. They're Woods can't get it to go and saved by the Sun Devils. Nice play, Martin with the save, but an errant shot by Positive. It. Yeah, he tried. He wanted to dunk that. You know he did, Kevin. He just didn't have the juice. Nice, nice shot. 
Bagley up ahead. Lays it up and in. In the powerhouses of the Conference of Champions. And in three of those four games, it came down to the final possession at the buzzer. The other one was against USC. USC. The best team, the most talented team in the Conference of Champions, currently in second place. Whoa, Three is off the mark by and very well. That'll be at Duke, though. That Kentucky, Alabama, don't miss that one. That guy, Nate Oates. Wow. Are you familiar with Colin Sexton? Of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Bagley finally gets <laughs> Arizona State on the board at the. Is this it? Was there more? Was that? Is that all you're going to no, say? No, there's more. Okay. Another turnover by Arizona. And I, I just, you, you got to play on. I agree. And you, one of the problems with whining to the refs is that it allows everybody else to make an excuse for not getting the job done. And you, you have to, you have to battle through it. Now, he wanted to thank everybody in Washington State for giving him the chance, the chance that you just think is yours rightfully oh my gosh press with bobby hurley's ability to realize this and make the change quickly well we just had him on monday night when they looked really bad got off to a bad start against arizona and lost both games to the wildcats it doesn't seem to hurt the nfl what hey. i'm not sure i finally used this Thank you, Coach Eason, for standing firm, raising these fine young men, discipline, commitment, Meanwhile. sacrifice, honor. Oh, oh great. What a pass. They have so many big, tall people. They have an incredibly passionate culture that loves sports, and they're used to war. These countries have been thorns. They've been a wing that won't go. O'Connell missed the three, struggling from out there. Hard for the spin, but then lost it. <laughs> They really trying to drive through the entire team. When the triple team comes down on Oscar, the other guys have got to knock down those wide open shots. And Maybe there's a reason they're open. Yeah, Kasunas is not going to take that. That's not his game. Here's the layer into the paint. Tough shot against Jalen Graham and by four. Next time you want to foul somebody, go and try to do it with your stern. Hmm. And, and if I do that while I'm moving, I will get called for the foul. You've lost your mind. But that is so you National TV, as you, as you look at uh, the numbers for Remy tonight, uh, an efficient game so far for Martin, but Arizona State only denied despite the fact that Stanford has more turnovers than baskets, yet they're not out of the game. Here's the Silva for a three. There's 13 minutes to go. Break free, because right now, they don't play as tough a schedule as the Big 12 schedule is. And so, Baylor is used to playing tough, fierce, competitive, fiery opponents. And then, you know, Gonzaga, they just cruise through so many of their games. Are they going to be as sharp as we know that Baylor will be coming through that Big 12, which is a fantastic basketball game. Here's Jones for three. No, it'll be Arizona State. He asked to James permission so that he could wear Harden's number. As uh, That's only the second missed free throw for Stanford all night, but it's an offensive rebound by Jones. Please, we cleared this up last game. Arizona State does not retire numbers. Sad car accident. Was five games into his NBA career. But Bobby Hurley, he hates to lose. And that came from his dad, Bob, who's a basketball player. One for 13 from behind the line. Fortunately, they've made some free throws. They have missed a couple down the stretch. Remember, they made, I think, it was 21 in a row to start the game as uh, Delaire tries to... I just want more. I want excellent play. It doesn't matter who wins. You know, as long as I do. Well, get another cupcake then as Delaire drives and finishes. Tough shot. Here's De Silva looking to tie the game. Swatted away by Graham. Great block by Jalen Graham, who's second of the Pac-12 in that category. <laughs> Remy, the air ball is the toughest shot to, to rebound. Just ask the Sun Devils with what happened with Tubelis. Just ask Akeem what happened in 1983. Throw it down. It's ninth, and he got hit in the face. Look, looked like a... <laughs> Something that uh, I wish I could still do to some people through this television. Huh. 
Remy looked like he was going to pass that ball. He was trying to pass it, and he realized he had to shoot because Jalen ran. It's in dunks. Antisovich is a guy that, you know, actually prefers to launch it deep. They, they need him. Obviously, they need him so much that they're going to leave him in with two fouls and nine and a half to go. Yeah, risky call, but he will stay in as Arizona State back up to 10-point lead now. Celestine in the game, number 32, as they'll work it around Bradley. Arizona State all over him. Cut off too. Ever since the early going, Casey, that lane has been closed for the most part. And Tishovich will try another three. He just doesn't have it tonight. He's got some great three-point shooting field. And, you know, just looked like, you know, he was being aggressive. But he just looked like he wasn't on balance on all of his shots. And tonight, you know, those first couple of layups that he missed, I think might have gotten in his head just, just a bit. Rattled him. Antisovich inside the three-point line, can't get it to go. Rebound, and the putback, that was almost too easy. Got to hurry. Bradley caught. They'll let it go with Bentley. No good. Tipped around. Kelly's got it. Seven seconds left. Antisovich has to fire it up. Too much passing. Bentley, time's going to run out. Bradley inside, and he hits it, but that is going to the Conference of Champions. Currently in second place. Whoa. Three is off Just the mark missed. by Marcus Bagley, who's an excellent shooter, though, at 40% from three. They really need him to step up tonight, the freshman. Josh Christopher, a freshman. And Seth talked about it, you talked about it. Remy Martin, who had 18 against Arizona last week, but he was one for seven from two-point range. Here's Tubelis from outside. Not afraid to shoot. You ever heard of an Amos Alonzo stay? Then they had a three-week pause. That the only school that has played fewer conference games in any league than Arizona State is South Carolina. They played one fewer. So Arizona State, this is only their sixth conference game. This is the ninth league game for Arizona. And then they also had guys that were out because of other reasons besides COVID. Jalen needs to make to get this team on track. But Arizona State is known as guard youth. In the game up in Tempe on Thursday, the Arizona guards, when you're tied at the very last play, you want to make sure you get the last shot. Arizona State, 2 of 17 from the floor. Arizona, 7 of 13. Entry pass oh, off the leg of Tubelis. Midway point of the second half, Arizona trying to hand Arizona State its sixth consecutive loss. Meanwhile, Arizona's got two more games at home. After this one, they five days as Marcus Bagley, the freshman from Phoenix, who finished up his high school career in Sacramento. He's a 40% three-point shooter. Older brother, Marvin, now in the NBA. Number two overall pick in the draft a few years ago. Jamal Baker is out now for the year for Arizona, so they've got a change in the starting lineup. And they have not had a full and complete roster at any point this season, starting with the very beginning when Kamani Lawrence, the senior, he needed surgery early in the fall. They do get Jalen Grand back tonight. He's been out with mono, but he's expected to play some minutes. Here's a turnover by Arizona. Christopher Moore. You ever used a fork before? Have you ever Burge used with his first? Field goal. He has an assist and four rebounds so far in the game. Not sure what that means. Three-point lead for Arizona, nearing two minutes to go here in the first half. Inside. Oh, beautiful. 